Hello, good morning. It's uh, Rio Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the trading session we have today is Wednesday, 3rd of October 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. Please visit the uh, Apple Store and the Google Play Store to certainly download the latest trading app. Okay, now in terms of markets, uh, yesterday it was uh, a market that was under pressure given the fact that Asian markets certainly were subdued. We have the uh, post NAFTA, or shall we say, the uh, post Canadian deal, uh, alleviating concerns with regards to global trade wars. But China certainly remains a key issue, and hence the reason why Europe, U.S. markets certainly have failed to break out, because China is one of the main trading concerns. Also, with regards to the uh, the actual uh, FOMC as well, they've certainly turned hawkish. Given Mr. Powell's testimony yesterday, he certainly sounded hawkish to a large extent, and that obviously exerted influence and exerted weakness on the on the markets for US. Apple certainly has hit a plateau, so has hit a potential double top. So again, that certainly under under pressure as well. And uh, in terms of the um, the markets in general for the US equities, certainly seem to have obviously factored in all the bullish news. In terms of European markets, they've certainly been subdued due to ongoing concerns regarding Italy. Uh, we've certainly got some bullish news this morning, given the fact that Italy is looking to potentially uh, lower its uh, budget deficit down to 2%. Uh, of, okay, so that certainly is bullish. We've had the euro bounce overnight. So Italy's budget deficit estimated to fall 2.2% of GDP in 2022, 2% in 2021 from expected 2.4% in 2019. So again, uh, a lot of pressure there from the ECB uh, exerting uh, on on the European, uh, should we say ECB on on the Italy on Italy, and that certainly is helping risk sentiment in general, so causing the euro to move higher, and obviously causing a potential short squeeze in European equities. So bear that in mind. Okay, now in terms of the uh, the rest of the market, let's see exactly how we're obviously set up in terms of fundamentals. Yesterday we did actually get weaker UK construction numbers, so again that did exert weakness there. Also, obviously with ongoing uh, concerns regarding the. Uh, a Conservative Party conference as well, and the uh, disunity there with regards to Mr. Boris Johnson's run. Uh, again, that certainly is serving to be risk negative. Yesterday, the uh, inflation numbers came in slightly stronger in Europe as well, PPI numbers, and that certainly did uh, obviously cause some concern with regards to the ECB being more hawkish, given the fact that the Fed is going down that path. In terms of uh, data today, uh, China, uh, national day off, uh, German. Uh, a day of unity for Germany as well. So Germans and the uh, and the friend the Chinese are only off. Uh, in terms of uh, the uh, Japanese market overnight, we've had uh, weakness there. In terms of well, relative weakness down 0.6%. So again, we'll watch out for that. In terms of data today, we've got European PMI numbers for France, Italy, Spain. So watch out there. Okay, we've got retail sales as well. Okay. UK PMI numbers as well. Uh, Mr. Evans is speaking later on. Mr. Barkin is speaking from the Fed. So watch out with regards to their comments. That will be market moving. We've got data from the US Market Services ISM. Again, watch out for Brainard and Mester. So a lot of FOMC and a lot of uh, dollar activity today. So watch out there. In terms of the technical picture now, in terms of the German DAX, let's look. Let's see exactly where we are. We've certainly put in a potential double bottom here at 12, 1200. Looking for that gap to close first and foremost at 12, 340. So watch out there. Uh, in terms of the futures, I've given a fact obviously it's a day off for Germany, so bear that in mind, okay? And don't be surprised if you see the futures spiking up to 12,440 gap fill, potentially testing that high, so watch out above. In terms of the um, uh, French CAC, okay, the 60 minute chart certainly was bearish because of the HS formation, okay? Now, look, certainly looking for a potential short squeeze, given the fact that we've closed that gap, and uh, looking for the gap to close above, which is currently around the 5,510. And potentially testing 5520, and, and don't be surprised if you actually see 5540 close as well. So, watching, looking for those potential gaps to close. Okay, so that's my potential expectation on the uh, the French count. Looking at 10 minute chart, you clearly see that we had an inverted head and shoulders formation anyway, more or less. Okay, um, a setup, although there is obviously a weak argument, uh, but from a technical picture, that certainly was a arguing to that he wants to reverse. Okay, uh, and the reversal certainly is expected to close the gap at 5510. And potentially even test 5520. And like I said, if the market maintains its bullish nature, then you are looking at 5540 above. Okay, so certainly looking for that potential thrust higher. Uh, any potential retracement down to 5480 will be a buying opportunity once we break that zone. And again, like I said, looking to uh, cap to close up 5505. Uh, okay, so that's basically my expectation there. Okie dokie, where are we? Okay, now in terms of the. Um, 
moving on to the FTSE 100. Okay, give you an insight there. Uh, the FTSE 100 hit a pivot low for 7445 yesterday, if I can recollect. Okay, held that horizontal support zone here. So that's quite impressive. Okay, and uh, now looking for a potential thrust higher, given the fact that oil prices certainly are higher. But having said that, watch out for the Conservative Party conference. A lot of curveballs there, and obviously Brexit as well. So it's very hard to forecast the FTSE at the moment. The last two weeks have been very hard for me to forecast from that perspective. Okay, so daily chart certainly has health up 75%. Can we actually start to push higher, given the fact that we've had this, uh, uh, obviously, uh, decrease in uh, global growth concerns? Okay, so let's bear, that, watch, bear that in mind as well. Okay, now in terms of the 10-minute chart, the thought seems to give you a quick micro insight, given the macro has already been covered. Uh, looking for gap fill, first of all, 7495. Looking for resistance at 7505, and then potential test of uh, 7530 and then 7535. So watch out there. Uh, in terms of the euro stocks, let's see exactly where we stand here again. Looking to potentially reverse up to gap fill at 3415 and then test 3425 and eventually look out for gap fill at 35, 3450. So certainly looking for that potential thrust iron 3415, 3425 and 3450 on the upside in terms of European equity. So again, bullish news from Italy given the fact that they're cutting their budget deficit. Okay, watch out for European PMIs as well. Uh, U.S. equities certainly are pushing higher, back up to uh, 29.30 now. Uh, again, a lot of the uh, the market direction does depend on the U.S. equities, given the fact that obviously we're trying to test and break out in terms of that resistance there, the key resistance being 29.41. Uh, at the moment, we're just trading sideways. I mean, again, we did hold double bottom yesterday at 29.19. Uh, you've got resistance above here now, currently around 29.31. And if you break out, it's 29.36. Now, we do really strengthen Europe now. Could that potential um, Italian deficit and de-escalation in Europe certainly propel risk sentiment higher? Good question. Uh, okay, or a potential trade deal with China. That really would trigger this market to uh, to certainly uh, scream higher in terms of that short squeeze. Either way, uh, we trade what we see and we react to what we, uh, we obviously uh, uh, interpret and understand. Okay, on that note, please be sure to visit uh, cfds.com for your trading needs. Certainly so take advantage of that bonus that's off offer as well. And also be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers. Goodbye.